With recycling centers shuttered around the state, retailers are supposed to pick up the slack, but the reality is far from it. In tonight's original report, KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano went undercover to find stores blatantly skirting state law. Hi, I've come to recycle. Recycle? Yeah. Most employees don't know about it, and neither do many consumers. If you paid a deposit for bottles and cans, you are supposed to be able to get your money back. It's part of California's 33-year-old bottle bill, but don't expect smooth sailing. Bottles and cans? We didn't do it. Greg Wright found out the hard way when the recycling kiosk in the parking lot of his neighborhood grocery store closed last August. He's a longtime bottle and can redeemer. I don't need the money, but I don't want to give it to the... Uh, sanitary department. So he called Sacramento and said, Hey, what's going on? How come I have to drive an hour to recycle a can or a bottle? And they got back to me and said, Well, you don't. Cal Recycle, the agency that oversees recycling in the state, told him he could redeem his cans right there at his lucky supermarket. But when he went in, no one in the store knew anything. We don't do that. That was the answer I got. Turns out retailers became the mandated recyclers of last resort last year when 300 replanted recycle kiosks in supermarket parking lots like this one were shut down across the state. If there is nowhere to recycle within a half mile radius of a retailer known as a convenience zone, then that retailer has to take back your bottles and cans and give you your money back unless it pays the state a $100 a day fee to opt out. In the Bay Area, hundreds of stores are on the state-mandated recycler list from supermarkets to pharmacies and gas stations. But our undercover investigation found many are not following the rules. We randomly picked 20 stores in five Bay Area counties. Our first stop? The Walmart in Pleasanton, where a manager told us... Oh, we don't do recycling. Oh, no, but you do because that... There's a sign that says to go to the replanet, but they're closed. They've been closed for months. Yeah, we don't do it. Same response at another Walmart across the bay in Mountain View. Recycle? Yeah, here? yeah. No. At this 7-Eleven in Santa Clara, the clerk just ignored us. I have some cans. Even though the sign on his front door clearly says his store is required to redeem all CRV. At another 7-Eleven in Pleasant Hill, the clerk was more apologetic. For recycling? I have no idea how to do that. He pointed us across the street to this Safeway store where we had no better luck. We don't have a recycling for this stuff here. CVS Pharmacy in San Bruno did redeem, maybe because last December Cal Recycle slapped them with a $3.6 million fine for not doing it. Thank All right, thank you so much. But the biggest surprise of all came at this Walgreens in Sunnyvale, where the store manager took our bottles, then threw us a zinger. What do you guys do with them? <laughs> it goes in the dumpster. Come on, are you serious? I wish I wasn't, but I, I don't have any way of returning them to anybody. In all, 9 out of 20 retailers we visited refused to redeem our bottles and cans, even though the state requires them to do so. It's a total loss. William Marr is not surprised. He's a longtime employee at CalMart, a neighborhood supermarket in San Francisco. It's a loss in terms of cash money, and it's a, a loss, in ter loss also in terms of storing the, the, the garbage outside. He told us CalMart has chosen to redeem bottles and cans because as a small supermarket, it can't afford to pay the $100 a day fine. I have 10 cans. But it's work intensive and he doesn't believe it's doing anyone any good anyhow. I think the system itself has failed the people of the state of California. It's nothing more than a tax. In a statement, the California Grocers Association told us grocers are trying to do our best in a situation that was not designed for retailers of food to also become can and bottle recyclers. As for Greg Wright, after complaining for months, he's now able to redeem bottles and cans at his lucky store. The bottom line for me is if you charge me a nickel for a can and the regulation says that you can go get your nickel back, then I want my nickel back. You may be wondering what retailers do with these redeemed bottles and cans. As you saw in our story, one store just throws them in the trash. Another told us they pay for extra curbside recycling. Technically, that is a violation as well. The state says they are supposed to take them to a certified recycling center. Our take? 
That is just a lot to ask. We've posted responses from specific stores mentioned in our story on KPIX5.com.